How you doing my fellow gamers? Sir Dazza here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering the final part of Classic Medieval Part 7. So we finished up on the entrance hall in the last level. So we have only two more levels to go. Time device and then we'll be moving on to the final one which is Zarab's Fair. Uh, before we get started I just want to clear um, a little mistake I made in the last video on the Haunted Ruins. If you have watched the previous video. You did know you probably noticed that I messed up in it. I uh, only saved two out of the three villagers. I wasn't obviously concentrating enough on uh, getting the fire out on the third one and he died. And um, the trick to that is what I was doing was right, I just wasn't concentrating enough. So you just make sure that the fire goes out and then you follow the farmers back and they give you um, a little reward all the way back at the beginning of the level. So I just wanted to hear the hop before we get stuck in, so let's head to the time device. there now, only two levels to go. One level to go to face off against that even little fuckers out. So there we go. You can see just hit this one, put your sword and open it up. Take out the enemies as quick as you can use the magic sword. It's a good thing. Take out those golden eyeballs. So, little message here. Using a dark magic called science, Zarok has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time clock. That's basically it. So you're going to see it now. As we go over here, the time is going to come up. So that is five past six. So we're going to run back here. Go to the master time clock, which is okay here. And we're okay. We're going to readjust it. See there's a, a guard on that, so we will come back to that later on. There's something in here though. Yes, that helps. Okay, and then so we'll come back and later on once we deactivate that little shield. So we'll come down here. I think we'll take the rule of down here. It's gonna, it's gonna take me time going this way. Here's the bass, I can do it alongside you. Watch out for these. You walk just time and walk through it. Watch out for that camera angle. It's taking me time there guys because I've often fallen down many times in this level. It can be so easily done. Here we go. So just 
said, there's three ways you can go here, so just watch yourself when you're going through it. Three possible uh, directions to go. So over here is basically the way out. I'm not ready for that just yet. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, we die. I'm fucking falling down. way to do is to run, do a daring dash and jump is the best way to get this, okay? We just need to get our hands on the red ribbon. So we just gotta go to a different direction. So I'm going to go left. Let's see if we get this one. Who gets this one? It is this one. This box will take loads out if you're not careful. Just watch yourself.
Sí. Reposition the train to go this way, but it will be worth it when you're going up against Zara because you're going to need all the weapons you can get. Next area, here we go. Set the train to the exit and then next up will be Zara. Mm -hmm. 
Hallo, Herr. To the Hall of Heroes. I do believe this is the last trophy. A chalice. There's a little spectacle here. You prove us all wrong. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes. And you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Yes, we are now officially hero. Behold, your statue is solid. You are now a hero in the Hall of Heroes. Officially worthy. This is the last one. This is the last item you pick up. Daniel, thank goodness you're still safe. I have a gift I can give to you, but sadly I can't say how useful you will find it. I'll take it. Oh yes, I will take that. Excellent. We had it all the way nearly up to full. I was kind of hoping on that because I wouldn't have, have had to go back to the last, another level to refill the health. We are now in Zarek's lair. This is it, folks. The showdown we've all been waiting for. I hope you have enjoyed it as much as I had. Top jam, what is that? Yep. Let's keep the train going on time. We never thought you'd get this far. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may yet even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Okay, so as you said there, we can even up the odds by placing the chalice in the middle of the arena. You're going to see that now in a minute. So before you go in there I strongly suggest that you top up your supplies because you're going to need every bit of it for the battle ahead. So I'm going to repair the shield. Right up. Top up all your supplies. Silver shield, and we have this here. Just good like this is extremely important, as you hope to see in a short second. Sir Fortescue, my old nemesis, so we meet again. I see that a century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. You'd have to play the doctor, wouldn't you?
prepare to attack, my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. Ah! What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup? You're about to find out. The light of here to protect your, your allies against the guards. Using, using the good light to heal your allies to keep to this. Make sure that you stay green, they're torn kind of orange or red. And you just need to top up, it's going to take away from your life. This is working on the that's how it's done. Saving each one of them, they drop a bit of health for everyone that you save. You always were fortunate in battle, Fortescue. Let us see how you fare against my champion, the late Lord Cardock. He eats people like you as calcium supplement. Let's beat him once, we beat him again. Okay, first thing you do is grab all that health, so you're going to need it. I suggest you use uh, long range weapons for fighting against Cardock. So spears, magic longbows, flame and longbows, axes, whatever comes to mind. He's here. Can't hit him when he's moving like that because he's not magic shield on him. So it's only when he comes out here. Just use that as your open to get the edge again. As we for the rage, we're very exposed to the Enough of your meddling. You decided to face me yourself, have you? Where is that spell? Ah, yes. <laughs> no, not that spell. <laughs> oh. Oh, not right now. <laughs> Mm. 
none shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <coughs> so prepare to die, Fortescue. You first. Alright, so the key to this is he's got that kind of glow on him. You can't hit him with anything. So he's just going to chase you. So you just kind of keep away from him. And you won't want to open it. There's a whole thing like that. I suggest that you switch up the weapons every now and again because it sits the same amount of spears. So you can switch to the magic now and we'll see what it does. So just stick to that strategy and you should be fine. You are doomed, Fortescue. You will never leave this domain. <laughs> That's what you get for your showing off.
This is the true end, and it's a result of getting out of the chalice. This is the end, and that you should get. So then, you learned it. So that's it guys, that is classic medieval done. The deed is done and Galamir saved Sir Daniel has redeemed himself. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. It's been a long tough road but we got there. I just love to listen to this music, even on the classic PS1, it's gorgeous music. It brings back memories of the childhood, pure nostalgia. If you'd like me to do the remastered version guys, uh, leave a request down in the comments section. If I get enough uh, requests for it, I'll do the remastered version. I, I just wanted to do the original first since I unlocked it last year when I played it on the remastered version. So I might play the remastered again if I get enough requests for it. So if you want, uh, you want to see that, you know what to do. This has been helpful for you guys. If you need any, uh, if you want me to go over any particular level, or you want any tips or anything, just leave it in the comment section below as well. And I'll help you as much as I can. Because I've played this game since I was 11, 12 years old, so I know the game inside and out. So don't be afraid to ask me anything. at the start of the video guys if you enjoy the content of the series so far including medieval and also doing crash banker and other ones that i'm going to go on to make sure to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes you can also follow me on instagram i'm going to be setting up a twitter account soon as well and going to try and get as much of the social media as i can going on the channel so you just won't ever uh, miss out there'll always be a link to some form of social media to link it to the YouTube page, okay? So that's gonna be it, guys. Until the next stream or video, have a good one. And remember, in all aspects of games, check those corners. <laughs>